Let's talk about the catastrophic rise of egg prices in the United States. Do you remember when we could buy a dozen eggs for 99 cents? It seems like it was only yesterday, but unfortunately those days are now gone for good. Thanks to a variety of factors, egg prices have risen to levels that we have never seen before, and in some areas of the country, significant shortages are being reported. In fact, things are so bad with that Whole Foods is apparently now limiting egg carton purchases to two per person. This is extremely alarming because millions of U.S. households have traditionally relied on eggs as a cheap source of protein. Unfortunately, it appears that eggs will not be cheap for the foreseeable future. According to an article that originally appeared in the Los Angeles Times, the average price of a dozen eggs of California actually reached $7.37 this week. Egg cases were bare across Los Angeles County this week from Trader Joe's in Long Beach to Amazon Fresh in Inglewood, Target in Mid-City, and Ralph's in Glendale. Those such as Hodges and uh, who found food cartons were shocked by the sudden spike in price. I've never seen anything like this, said Anna Sanchez, 32 years old, who scored, scoured the half-empty shelves at Smart and Final in University Park looking for a dozen eggs for less than $10. The cheaper ones just aren't there. The average retail price for a dozen large eggs jumped to $7.37 in California this week, up from $4.83 at the beginning of December and just $2.35 since at this time last year. Data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture shows. You can, can you imagine paying $7 for a carton of eggs? I certainly cannot. Thankfully, prices are not quite as high elsewhere in the nation. One of the reasons why egg prices in California are so absurd is because of a new law that went into effect last January. Since the law went into effect last January, all eggs sold in California have to be produced in cage-free settings, but cage-free production takes much more space than conventional egg production, and California producers aren't able to keep up with the demand. They're selling everything they can possibly grow, Mattis said. Of course, egg prices have also been skyrocketing in states that do not have such laws. All over the nation, people are now paying 4 or $5 for a dozen eggs and may believe that Many believe that our ongoing bird flu pandemic is a primary factor that's causing prices to go completely nuts. But egg prices are up significantly more than other foods, even more than chicken or turkey, because egg farmers were hit hard, harder by the bird flu. More than 43 million of the 58 million birds slaughtered over the past year to control the virus have, have been egg-laying chickens, including some farms with more than a million birds apiece in major egg-producing states like Iowa. More than 50 million chickens and turkeys have also been wiped out in Europe. So when you combine the two totals, so far well over 100 million chickens and turkeys have been killed in just the United States and Europe. And there's no end to the bird flu pandemic in sight. This is a major crisis, but up to this point, the mainstream media has not been focused on it very much. On top of everything else, egg farmers have had to deal with rapidly rising costs in recent months. In fact, there are some in the industry that insist that the huge cost increases that egg farmers have been hit with over the past year are even a bigger factor than the bird flu. But the president and CEO of the American Egg Board trade group, Emily Metz, said she believes that all the, they believe all the cost increases farmers have faced in the past year were a bigger factor in the price increases than bird flu. When you're looking at fuel costs go up and you're looking at feed costs go up as much as 60%, labor costs, packaging costs, all of that, those are much higher, big, much bigger factors than bird flu for sure, Met said. Many anticipate that these costs will only go higher in 2023 and that will mean even higher prices for the rest of us. I really feel badly for small bakeries they use lots and lots of eggs, and if egg prices continue to go up, many small bakeries could soon be forced to close. Small businesses especially, you live and die by what your food costs are, said Tracy Ann Devor, nor uh, owner of No Real Tea Pie in Eagle Rock, 
who recently let go a dishwasher to stem rising costs. She said if this keeps up for another three to six months, it could be a tipping point for some bakeries to close. For DeVore and many others, the new egg crisis combined with uncertainty about when it could ebb has been more unsettling than the gradual price creep of dairy products, flour, and produce. At some point, you can't raise the price anymore, DeVore said. There's been points where I've cried recently because I thought, how are we going to keep going with this? Our food industry was stable for some years, but now we're witnessing a dramatic shift. Costs are going through the roof and supply problems just keep popping up. Just like we have witnessed at other times, empty shelves are starting to be reported at certain supermarkets around the nation. Social media is brimming with reports of missing food items at Kroger supermarket locations across the country. A repeat of early 2020 when toilet paper and other essentials ran bare. The start of 2023 seeing a lot of empty shelves at Kroger, according to numerous reports, some containing video evidence of lingering supply chain problems. We're getting dangerously close to the days that I've been warning about. As we're hit by one crisis after another throughout 2023, I expect our supply chain problems to continue to intensify. So I would encourage you to stock up while you still can. Yes, prices may seem ridiculously high now, but the truth is that they're going to be getting any, they are not going to be getting any lower than they are at this moment. It's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times is now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, my name is Michael. This is written by Michael Snyder. He says in my brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the most important news. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media on Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you've not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder on the Economic Collapse blog. Please leave your comments. And thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.